Welcome back to the Toppy Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Chris Williams and this is another one of our 24-7 news report videos. As always, we start with the headline news and the headline news this evening is that Tottenham are interested in signing Jordan Pickford to replace Hugo Lloris. Pickford could be open to a move away from Everton this summer. Chelsea are also interested. That's come via the mirror. Um, we ran a poll saying, would you sell Jordan Pickford? 4,260 of you voted. 69.8%, including myself, said no. 30.2% uh, said yes. Um, for me, there was that report that he wanted to sign a new contract. He was getting a new contract, and now the Everton board have slowed that right down. It, for me, it looks like he's the next Richarlison. He's going to be the next one to be sold to accommodate for the bad running of the football club. It happened to Richarlison. And it looks like Jordan Pickford's the next one. Otherwise, they'd have let him sign his new contract. But it looks like they're now thinking, who's our next most valuable asset? And it probably is Jordan Pickford. I don't think there's anyone else you'd get that type of money for. Dominic Calvert-Lewin at once upon a time, but due to his injury problems, not anymore. Um, yeah, and I don't think they want to get rid of... Uh, I mean, the next one, purely because of potential, is maybe Onana. But... Um, People aren't that keen. He's only just come to the club. There aren't that many clubs looking at him. Pickford's had his favourite, uh, his admirers for a while. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind it if we replaced him properly, but I don't trust that. And it and it is, once again, us selling our most valuable asset to make up for the fact that this club's run awfully and mistakes have been made. Um, we also have that Everton have had a €20 million Euro offer rejected for Lorient forward Dango Otara. Uh, negotiations are still in progress. That's come from Santi uh, AFM, uh, Santi Una, who's a journalist for Foot Mercato. Uh, I have I have it on good news. He's quite reliable actually for stuff like this. Um, French football, he's really reliable. So there is probably some truth in that. Looks a good player. Um, yeah, looks a good player. I mean. From what I've seen of him, which is bits and bobs, um, it is a position we do need. Uh, if they're not going to accept €20 million, Euros, though, I can see the club not pushing any further than €25, Euros, €25 million to 30 so it's about £25 million. And we also have the uh, Rangers manager, Michael Beale, has talked about Tom Davis. He said, Tom Davis, he used to kick my Liverpool under-23s team around. There's a bit of a John Lundstrom in him. Uh, not confirming anything with those two, but there are lots of players we're speaking to at the moment. Um, two former Everton players there. Uh, we did say we'd let Tom Davis leave in this window. Again, 3,962 of you have voted, yeah. In, um, sorry, 3,962 of you voted. 81.8% said, yeah, you would. 7.6% went, I don't know. 10.7% said, uh, no. I said, yeah, I think... Um, I think he needs to. I think he needs to go. Unfortunately, to get um, get some football, he's not getting in at Everton. Frank Lampard clearly doesn't rate him that off that much, uh, as he's not getting game time. So I let him go. It's it. You know, it's tough. He's. It he seems like a really nice lad, but um, he's not getting game time. We've not even seen much of James Garner either. Who we brought. I know he's a bit. I think he's injured now, but you know, what I mean, there's another midfielder that gets in above him, Decore. Uh, all of a sudden, we've got one too many centre mids. Uh, speaking of midfielders, Besiktas want to cancel Deli Ali's loan and send him back to Everton. There are no early break clause in the loan, and Everton would want a full payment of the loan fee if he would return. So it's unlikely he will. That's come from Sky Sports News. We can say no unless you pay the thing. Um, so we have some power and leeway. Absolutely shocking that he's not made. He's not managed to kick off in um, in the Turkish league. That's a league where I think the top goal scorer is Michi Batshuayi. And the rest of them are all, you know, ones that weren't strikers that weren't good for the Prem. Um, Michi Batshuayi tears up that league. And Deli Ali can't make it out there. I think his career is well and truly done. Uh, he needs to, I don't know what he needs to do. I thought Turkey he was as low as he was going to get to rekindle it. But um, his career is done. Unfortunately, though, he will come back to Everton. Uh, why we ever signed him on the, on the uh, recommendation of Harry Redknapp was absolutely ludicrous. That's a big minus for me uh, in the transfers for Frank Lampard. Dele Alli had a state clear as soon as that Tottenham documentary went out and Mourinho had a word with him. And he, he, I mean, don't get me wrong, it looked like Dele Alli listened, but it didn't look like he listened because he smirked when Mourinho warned him. 
uh, about how quickly you age in that infamous clip now because everyone's pulling it back up now because of where Dele Ali is. But he did say one day he was 20, the next he's 50 and Delhi smirked. And I, I don't know if he fully appreciated, probably does now, what Mourinho was trying to tell him. But um, yeah, abs- Delhi Ali at Everton's got to be one of this, one of my more stinkier transfers that for us. Um, up there with Royston Drenthe at this at this rate, really, really bad transfer. And um, Everton have rejected a loan from Southampton for Michael Keane. Everton do not want to loan to a league position rival and the relegation rival and would prefer to sell. That's come from Sky Sports Leal, um, who obviously is Sky Sports presenter and journalist Leal Thomas. I don't blame the club. They're also a relegation battle rival. You don't want to be selling to them, really, do you? I know if it's going to help them. Um, Alex Awobi is also expected to be out for around three months, three weeks with an ankle ligament injury. That's not brilliant, but it could be a lot worse. I nearly slipped and said three months. That would have been a lot worse. Three weeks is is not great, but like I said, it could be worse. Um, we also have that should Everton decide to sack Frank Lampard, they have lined up Sean Dyche as a potential replacement. Dyche does have strong admirers among the Everton board. That's come from the Mirror Football. Interested to see who they are. Is it Ken Wright? Is it Mishiri? Is it Kevin Felwell? I know he's not on the board, but he'll have an input, you'd hope. It, I don't think it'd be Denise Blasser because I don't know if I don't know <laughs> I don't know if that's her expertise, um, Blasser. But um, yeah, you know, so interesting um, to see. Obviously, um, I has his. I, I think he's hard done by a lot of people mentioning Burnley on a shoestring, and he actually did a really good job at Burnley. And I think people have sort of branded him with this brand of like football, um, which I mean, I, I get it's not ambitious, but I'm. I find it quite funny people going, I wouldn't want that at Everton, but everyone's praying for Frank Lampard to play a five back and go defensive in most of his games. So it's not, again, I don't think it's the fact of the style of football. I think people are moaning because he's not a name that people like, like Frank Lampard is. Because if Frank Lampard played like him, people would still like him. But because it's Deitch that might play like that, people aren't as like... It's the same reason he has a worse record than Rafa Benitez, but I don't see people wanting him out nearly as much as they did with Rafa Benitez. It's because it's Frank Lampard and it's that's it, that's it. He's just a liked person more. And very, very interesting. Um, speaking of Frank Lampard, Everton are considering their options regarding Frank Lampard and he could be sacked if Everton lose to Southampton. The pressure's very high. That's come via the Telegraph, and more specifically, uh, it's come from Jason Burt. Not a shock there. Um, anything, I think, after the, the rumours after the United game, um, that he could as well he could end up going. Um, it's a big game to be risking it on because it's one of our more winnable. We lose that and we're in a bit of trouble, but... Um, but we should, we should, we should be winning that type of game. Um, we also have Nathan Broadhead is currently undergoing a medical for his transfer to Ipswich on a seven-figure fee. Uh, Everton recalled him from his loan at Wigan Athletic. That's come from Paddy Boyland of the Athletic. Paddy Boyland also said a number of EFL clubs, including Preston North End, are interested in signing Tom Cannon on loan. I think that's really good for to, uh, to get that type of fee for Broadhead, and I also think Cannon could probably go on loan. I think that's best for him. Um, but the fact we've managed to get a seven-figure for Nathan Broadhead, well done there. Makes you wonder what if Switch are doing. But uh, yeah, really well done there. Uh, and then finally, we have uh, Fad Mahiri held talks with Star Airways regarding the naming rights for the deal for uh, for Bramley Moor Dock. That's come from the Mail Sport. Um, Qatar, the the people who own PSG are looking to invest in some a small investment into football. Uh, I know they're meeting with Spurs, uh, Daniel Levy. If Mashiri had any news about him, he'd be asking them to come to Goodison. Um, if they're looking for a small investment, so he'd still be the shareholder, but he'd get that type of money that just needs us to be pushed over the line. Um, the Qatar Airways, Bramley Moore Dock, uh, the naming rights, it's not... It's not like Goodison Park, is it's a real shame. It's for me, I I don't like it. I think it's selling your soul in football. But before anybody, you know, so it unfortunately that's how football is now. You you either sell your soul um and try and compete or you get left behind. And I moan a lot about the fact about how sometimes we we get left behind because we refuse to modernize. Um and unfortunately I'd be a hypocrite to be completely 
like, no, don't do it because the money's needed and if you don't modernise, and everyone's doing it, you know. Um, it's just sad. It, it's one of those where when you watch it and you realise it's one of those moments where you realise football sold its soul a long, long time ago. But there's, const there's those little reminders that hit you and you go, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, a couple of them happened. The World Cup this year was another reminder that football sold its soul a long time ago. Um, but... That's yeah, that's about as far as I've got on that one. Um, but don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on anything I've said. Uh, there's some good stuff to get into there, and I'll see you guys very, very soon for another video and another update.